people are welcome to this third video on VGP and what I'm going to do now is um, secure VGP and the way that we could do this is by um, configuring a password on the um, on the VGP um, on every single VGP so it will set up a password on the VGP server and the VGP client does not have that password it won't be able to receive any new VNs right so let's go ahead and and do that so you guys can see. So enable config show. Let's do a VGP password. Let's put the password one, two, three, four, five, six. There you go. So now, now the password is this. So let's go ahead and create a new VLAN. VLAN 40. Right? We created this VLAN. So now what the server is going to do is try to send it to the VGP client but the VGP client is not going to get it because it does not have the password let's go ahead enable show VLAN brief there you go it has um, 10, 20 and 30 but it does not have 40 um, because it does not have the password and if it doesn't have the password it won't be able to authenticate with the server so what we need to do for the VLAN to show the 30 is to configure the same password that we configured on the VTP server which was 123456 and also let's show VTP status we're going to see that the revision number is still 3 and if when we configure the password this is going to go to 4 because it's going to receive a new packet it's going to receive a new VLAN which is going to be VLAN 40 so config Terminal you now VTP VTP password one two three four five six All right I set up to one two three four five six so now it's going to be able to authenticate with a VTP server so we're gonna go and show VTP status first and there it is revision number four so that means that it got the VTP VLAN um, or that it received the VLAN um, forty so. You're going to be able to see show VLAN brief so we can see it. And there it is. It received VLAN 40 after it was able to authenticate with the password that we set up on the VTP server. So, this is a good way to secure the um, VTP packets that are sent over because if you connect um, any switch, like another switch, to this and set it up as the domain to Cisco, like we did before. It's going to be able to receive packets and um, hackers can get um can hack your system can hack your six and to your system doing that so that was a uh, way to show you to show you how to um, secure the VTP server so this is all for now um, thank you for watching my videos and see you on the next one